Okay, well welcome to the man junk contraption. In a few minutes, you're gonna be one of the very few people on the planet who knows what man junk is, how the parts work, and what men do to make babies. Over here, we've got Nev, Nev Black from Australia. Why are you here? I'm here for a weekend of learning and fellowship. And fellowship, <laughs> well done. So he's running the heart. That's got to run through the whole demonstration. Without that, Joe's going to die. And over, <laughs> and over here, who is this? We've got Peter Kafka. He's from Maui. Why are you here? Why am I here? Well, I'm a big fan of supporting the Man Jump Project. I think everybody needs to understand how we work. There we go. Peter's running the testicles. We'll get to those in a minute. So I'll start out by introducing Joe here. This is Joe's junk. All of this is Joe's junk. And Joe has got a brain. His brain is divided into two parts. There's new brain. That's the part of Joe that talks and figures stuff out, has ideas, and is pretty bright. He even knows how to run his damn cell phone. The older part of Joe's brain runs all this wet stuff. He's the old, old brain runs the valves, runs the, <laughs> runs the bladder, runs the heart, runs the lungs, everything. Even runs the testicles. Joe's pretty unconscious about what's going on with the old brain and that's the way it should be. The only time he wants to get involved with what's going on with what the old brain's doing is when something's going wrong and that's not so good. So we've got Joe, we've got Joe's brain and down here of course we've got the heart. And the heart runs 24-7. Without the heart, Joe dies. So we've got the heart running through Joe's brain, of course. And the heart's got a whole network of veins and vessels and all kinds of stuff that go off throughout the whole body. But we're only interested in this bit of blood that goes down to these valves. We'll come back here in a minute. So we've got Joe's heart, Joe's brain, and here's Joe. He's kind of sleepy because he doesn't pay much attention because he's pretty quiet because everything's working. He does, he's, he's unconscious about a, about a lot of what his old brain is doing. Over here, we've got what we are all here for. This is the prostate. There's been mischief in all of our lives because of the prostate, usually cancer. So this is a real important part of this contraption. So what's the prostate do? The prostate makes prostatic fluid. And that's the white milky stuff that you see in ejaculate. You can't see the sperms because they're too small. And the prostatic fluid has got three things for the sperm. It's got the lubricant, so those little guys can get into where they need to go to do their job. It's also the fuel, it's really sweet. And they get coated with this fuel, because without fuel, they're not gonna last very long. And the third part of the prostatic fluid is armor. Without the armor, these guys are gonna die. They can't complete their mission. So we've got the prostate, and above the prostate, of course, we've got the bladder. Running through the bottom of the bladder, we've got the urethra. And that's a flexible tube. It's kind of like surgical tubing. It can get big like a balloon, like a water balloon, and it can get a little smaller, too. It runs right through the bladder and right out through the end of Joe's man chunk. So what happens when Joe's got to take a leak? Well, he gets a little tug on the sleeve inside, so he runs to the bathroom. He unzips and he waits. This valve opens up. Joe takes it, oh, and the, the bladder gives a little squeeze and the urine flows right out through. It closes up again, so Joe zips up and it goes right back to work. It's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Now this external sphincter valve, this guy's always open, except on special occasions. This urethral sphincter is always closed, except on special occasions, like when Joe takes a leak. This will open up again in a few minutes. These valves always closed except on special occasions. So we've got Joe, he took a leak, that's good. So let's continue down here. These are the pelvic floor muscles. Now Joe can feel his muscles when he's taking a leak and he stops in midstream. That's called the Kegel exercise and women use that a lot more than men. But he can stop taking a leak and these guys are going to be important again in a few minutes. But we'll hold off on that. Over here, we've got Joe's old friend, the testicles. Now, they do two really wonderful things for us. 
they pump out testosterone. We all know about that. That gives us hair on our chin, gets us interested in fast cars and pretty women, and gets, into, gets us into a lot of mischief. That's a whole nother network that gets delivered to the body. Women have got testosterone, but not as much as men. They don't get as much trouble as we do. The other thing that, testo that the testicles produce is the sperm. So the testicles are running 24-7. They never stop, just like the heart. That never stops. You can slow them down a little bit. There we go. He's just kind of kind of low key right now. So the testicles are running 24-7, and they make sperm. They're making millions of sperm every day. And the sperm, they kind of cruise up the vas deferens, and they come in whoop, to the seminal vesicles. Oh, incidentally, when a guy gets a vasectomy, these are the things that get snipped so the little sperms can't go upstream. So these little guys, if you took these sperms out and put them in a woman, no baby. Because these guys are really immature. They're just babies. So they take a few hours and they swim into the seminal vesicles. And these guys are painted orange like a school bus. And that's intentional because these little guys, these sperm, they got to be up there for two weeks or 21 days. They got to mature. They got to get smart. They got to get tough. And they get old enough to make babies. But they're not in the prostate yet. That's going to happen in a few minutes. So they stay up here in school and they're happy. Let's see. These valves, we've got the blood supply going into Joe's man unit. And inside of here, there's another thing that's like a water balloon. And when that gets full of blood, like filling up a water balloon, it gets pretty hard. Well, you know what that's all about. So let's see. I think we've got all the parts. Oh, the erectile nerves. You'll notice this communication line, that's going to the erectile nerves. They live right next to the prostate. They touch the prostate, actually. And they also go down to these valves. So this is fast communication, and that's going to come online in just a minute. Yep. So Joe and his wife, they've been wanting kids for a long time. And so Joe gets a signal from his wife. He goes into the next room, and there she is with nothing on, all curves and ready to go. Joe is excited. Boom! It's time! It's showtime! So the brain sends the signal down to the erectile nerves. They engage. These valves open up. This guy fills with blood. Going with blood. Get him going. There we go. Ah, oh, yes, yes. He can go faster than that. Well done. The heart can start going a little faster. Yep, this is good. This is good. So while this guy's filling up, the testicles are running. They can still run pretty slow, that's okay. They're running 24 seven. But what's going on up here? The bladder's all excited. This valve closes because what's gonna happen, this is all gonna get high pressure and you don't want any backwash going into the bladder. So this guy closes, this valve opens up. And if you remember, the urethra can get a little bit big like a water balloon. Well, before that happens, these valves open up and all those little sperms, all the little boys and girls get splashed into the prostatic fluid and then the prostate gives a nice squeeze and it fills up the urethra so he gets bigger and the valves open, everything's running, Joe's hammering away so what happens, time for the money shot boom, 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 the pelvic floor muscles fire, there are other muscles that fire and we've got the happy ending, yeah, well done <laughs> so that's how man junk works and this is real So. Keep that going, keep those going. Okay, the heart can slow down. And Joe's done, job is done. He's on his way to making babies. Uh, Joe's getting a little tired. He's kind of kind of ready for a nap. So he's good. And that's, that's pretty much how man junk works. Open for questions. <laughs>